iOS 15 is coming very, very soon. Here are the great new privacy features and security features you can look forward to. Okay, we know um, things that aren't coming in iOS 15, not least um, CSAM scanning on your iPhone device itself. But what is coming? I mean, I'm, I'm actually um, a little bit excited, I have to admit, about Private Relay, for example. Private Relay is interesting, isn't it? Because particularly where privacy and identity and tracking has been in the news so much, especially with Chrome, what Private Relay does is it breaks the identity chain. It's a fantastic innovation from Apple. It's not going to be there. Um, so when iOS 15 launches, because there are teething problems, but when it comes, what it means is that the, the journey, if you like, from your phone to the websites you visit is broken up. So the ISP can't see where you're coming from and where you're going. Neither can Apple and neither can the website. So it's a fantastic innovation that no doubt Google will not copy because that's how its business model is built. Yeah, that's fantastic. And it also builds on the app tracking transparency features that came out in iOS 14. So app tracking transparency is about tracking across apps and websites. Um, Private Relay helps you stop you being tracked across websites in itself. Um, we're actually going to see a privacy dashboard in iOS 15, and that's going to list all the apps that have asked for permissions, um, that they've used the permissions, and it's also going to say how often they've used those permissions too. On top of that, we're also going to see which apps have tracked you on your iPhone um, as part of app tracking transparency, which is where you opt in to being tracked or opt out as, as a lot of people are. Um, this is coming a bit later on. We don't know exactly when, but at the launch, you're going to just see the initial privacy dashboard. So I'm really excited about that. The other thing that's coming is opting in to Apple adverts, which we have talked about a lot. And I'm very, very pleased about because Apple had been obviously pushing this big privacy focus and privacy features, but yet its own advertising, you were just opted into it and you had to actually go deep into your settings, which you can do now to find the settings in your privacy settings, opt out of Apple ads. Now that's going to happen at the welcome screen on iOS. 15. And talking um, of opting in and opting out, Kate, um, should people opt in and, and update to iOS 15? Is there an alternative in iOS 14.8? Yes, what we're expecting to see is when iOS 15 is starting to come out to iPhones, we'll also see 14.8, which is a security update. So if you prefer to wait before you upgrade to iOS 15, wait for any bugs to be ironed out, usually in the security world, we say, no, don't wait to update because that means that you don't get the security updates, which is very important to keep your iPhone secure. But with iOS 14.8, we should be able to see security updates separated out from iOS 15. So if you want to leave it a couple of weeks, we've changed our advice.